Hello everybody and welcome back to one of my most favorite games in the whole entire universe, Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. It's beautiful, I love it, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna laugh, I'm just super, super excited just in general. Um, I am a little sad, I guess, that uh, I can't do this part with Grunt, it would have been fun, but it's always, I don't know, he had, he has to run his own company, you know, he's got, <laughs> I'm like my, my business CEO, um, son. But, um, where are you going? Where are you going, Garrett? You're just gonna, gonna let them light them all off as, it, as, it, as you go. This is what happens when you open them without. Oh my gosh. When you just open them without burning them. Just kidding, it happens when you burn them too. They're going after him, they're chasing him down. Yeah, watch the bugs. I like to see- it's so funny to see Javik's like laser beam come out. It's so funny. Hey Garrus, where are you? The Arachni usually dwell on toxic planets. This is- There different. he is. The Reapers must have changed them. They definitely look different. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, I was like, hopefully he doesn't go off the edge. Just call us pest control, am I right? Oh, I did not. I was actually trying to... Uh-oh, that's a problem. Oh, no, where'd my gun go? Oh, no. Did I... I mean, I was trying to... Oh, my gosh. I was trying to pick it up, but it... I bet they're breathing an army down here. Uh -huh. Breathing like flies. And this place is well hidden. I mean, it adds up. I agree. And they're throwing everything they've got at us so we don't reach the nest. Is Javik okay? Alright, for once you guys don't have a firestorm on you? This is unfortunate. This is what I, I feel like I did last time, is I would open them, and then I would let my companions auto-aim and take care of the bugs. It also means you're not wasting ammo, but it's really not a problem in this game. Ammo, anyway. It's everywhere. Oh, jeez. Oh, Grunt! I will help you, my boy. On, I will help you. It. Oh, no. Hang on. I am, um... Oh, no. This is... Oh, okay, we can do it without the fire. That's good. I didn't... I was like, oh, no. What have I done? It's up there, Shepard. Come on, get it. Yeah, that thing, those things are nasty. Those things hit hard. Thanks, Shepard. That wasn't webbing stopping us. That was Reaper. It was indeed. <laughs> we ran into it too. The Rachni have backed off for now, but they can smell our wounds. Any worthy enemy would regroup and finish us. Soon. We're close, Grunt. Those oh my gosh. Protecting whatever's down that that Krogan scared me back there. We'll dig in here. Kill anything that moves. Buy you some time. My boy. Good luck. My boy. I don't need luck. I have ever. Oh no, my boy. All their health. <laughs> Krogan, get ready. Sorry, my sisters just showed me, my young, very young sisters just showed me that meme. Oh, good, finally. Um, just showed me that meme the other day, and it killed me. 
there's my some what is it like oh look my boy <laughs> what is it no dang it what is the first part like that's my boy oh no my boy father it's help up. more eggs take it slow freaking love it what is that reaper tech ah all right you guys get him get him get him Protect me from the bugs. Oh, we get to go in. My boy, hang on, Ash. Can I talk to Grunt? I don't think so, but my son standing with his squad, being successful. <gasps> oh, no, it really is. It really is really good. Like I don't know. I just I hope in future games, Mass Effect and Dragon Age. I hope for one thing that Bioware doesn't just like uh, collapse internally. But I also hope you can get a little bit more um, helping your friends have relationships and things outside of you. Especially my one of my sisters was replaying Dragon Age Origins a bit the other day. And I was like, wow, none of these people get along. Like, n none of the characters in Dragon Age Origins get along. They're literally only there for you. Like, I wish I could see, like, they do have, like, their, their, their dialogue interactions. And Liliana, like, tries to, like, get along with everybody. And, like, I guess her and Alistair get along fine. But I don't know. I wish you could, like, help them forge friendships. And you can do it a little bit in Inquisition where you can get, like, Dorian and Iron Bull together. And somehow you can get Josephine and Blackwall together. Sort of, kind of together. At least, like, somewhat romantically interested. But... I've never managed to do that, but I haven't tried that hard. But yeah, I'm just really hoping that you can, like, I don't know. You pick your romance, potentially, and then you can kind of help other people, like, facilitate their friendships and stuff. Oh, and in Inquisition, like, you see, like, Dorian playing chess with Cullen and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that they keep going with that, that you can see, and, and, in, the, and in the dialogues in Inquisition, like, you could see, like, certain people got along. Like, Dorian, Blackwall, and Sarah got along like a house on fire, you know? And I really liked that, so I hope we keep doing that, and we can see people... Wow, that was fancy. Whoop, whoop, spinner. <laughs> Shepard's like, I don't get paid enough for this. Oh, wait, I don't get paid at all. <laughs> Not right now, anyway. I really think you guys could have crawled. You didn't have to belly. What is that? You didn't have to belly crawl. Oh, my gosh. Grunt, we've located the central chamber. Good. We got she looks ship. bad. She <clears throat> looks bad. Move it! Locate the power. What do you door. mean, locate the power? I'm just waiting. Oh, God, it's right above my head. It's so spooky. I'm waiting for them to, like, come in and get me. Absolutely not. Stay away from me. The big one. I don't know if we can. Ow, 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 ow. up my thing. Too far. Let me up. Garage is like Shepherd over here and I'm like, oh okay, follow you over there. Come on, we gotta get past these barriers. Let's 
get to the other side. Ay, ay, ay. Already punched him to death. Oh jeez. Ow. 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 Should be good. I might not even need this, but I'm just carrying it just in case. Theoretically, it would be good against armor. But I'm not gonna get that close. And besides, I think my shotgun does a better the damage. Ah! My teammates makes it easier for me. Another just one right here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, get off of him. My friend. Mama. did this to you? Yes. The sour note of the machines is everywhere. This is extra spooky. Last time we only had one person, one corpse talking to us, but I guess the, I think the thing is, is that they're basically dying or something, but I think it speaks well to the Krogan Scout group that so many of them got to this point, you know? 
But yeah, this queen just can't catch a break. We saved her in Mass Effect 1, said go live your life with your happy little babies, and she did, and then presumably the Reapers found her, killed all of her babies that were normal babies, and then forced her to make these silent ones, you know? I let you go back on Novaria. You promised not to interfere anymore. The Rachni were supposed to disappear. We remember. We kept our promise. Retreated back through the relay. We started a new home. Beautiful children. Home it would be Javik poking them. The machines came. They heard our song. Their shriek of our notes drowned us out. They can't hurt you. Well, they can. You big liar. We understand. Can you still feel the Reapers? Can they influence you? We hear the machines, but they cannot control us. Remove this last shackle, and we are free. I guess if we keep her from being. The children return. They will destroy us all. Really fast. I guess if we. We're getting movement here. A lot of movement. Copy that, Grud. Are you capable of fighting the Reapers? We hate the machines. We will fight for our unborn children. Really fast. She's badly wounded. She needs too much time to escape. <laughs> Shepard, we're out of time. We stay here. Our land company dies. Is that clear? Let me just double check, because uh, I'm a coward, but I'm pretty sure I, if I save her that it'll be okay. Interesting. So, spoilery-ish, um, I always kind of wonder, because I always I always save the Rachni Queen. Well, at least I have when I played through to Mass Effect 3, which I think's only actually really been once, maybe twice. Um, to get to this point, um, it, if you let the Rachni Queen die in one, uh, then they, because I was always curious how that worked, like, you always had this Rachni Queen situation in Mass Effect 3, but you can let her die in one, so I'm like, what does that even mean? Apparently they've made a clone of her if you killed her in one, and you can interact with the clone here, um, but... There's actually a huge difference here, so you can choose to save the Rachni Queen or not. If you don't choose to save the non-clone Queen, she will die quietly, and you will get certain asset points. Um, and But if you leave the clone Queen to her fate, she will die aggressively cursing Shepard. Um, and it does affect some of the points on Arlac Company. But if you help the clone Rachni Queen, this clone isn't the same as the original one and will ultimately betray you. You initially get 100 points of Rachni support for the war, but ultimately they turn on you later in the game. That 100 points is removed, and in addition they do 100 points of damage to the Alliance Engineering Corps and wipe out Arlac Company, meaning a net loss of over 200 point, like war asset points. I don't think I've ever lost points. Like once having them. Because to be fair, I've only played this once, really. Um, but, wow. That's interesting. I'm glad I, I'm, I'm glad I looked that up. Someday I'll get to the, to the renegade ending with all of this, but I didn't in the original game because I couldn't get the DLCs to work for Mass Effect 2, and I refused to play Mass Effect 3 without having, um, the final DLC, the one where you, in, in, you get involved with the Batarians in Mass Effect 2, um, because it just makes a lot more sense story-wise to have that. Otherwise, they come up with a really weird reason why they've kept you under lockdown, and I don't know, it's weird. Um, Listen up. Our lack company holds the Rachne off while the Queen escapes. We'll buy you some time. Grunt, fall back to our position and lead us out. Damn you, Shepard! I'm leaving my team. On my way! Commander? That's an order. She's too valuable an asset to lose. Babe. 
Big girl. Big girl. Now get us out of here. I do feel bad. I'm really not sure why Grunt has to come and leave his team behind. I mean, besides the fact that I don't want Grunt to die, you know. But making the leader leave their team behind is a little weird. And also undermines everything I've been doing up to this point where I'm like, yay, he's the leader of his own team, but since I have his loyalty, he has he's a little more loyal to me than he is to his team. Shuttle's down that path. I'll hold them off. Get out of here, Shepard! No! God! This still makes me cry! My boy! Take that linebacker armor and come back to me. My turn. Absolutely not. In the first one, when I saved the Rachni Queen, I was distraught. I was so distraught here. I was like, if I lose him, I'm reloading and I'll let her die. <laughs> but... Spoilers. <laughs> He'll be okay. <laughs> I hope, anyway, as long as the game isn't, isn't glitched. Copy that, Commander. Shuttle is waiting. My boy! Not today! Not today! Anybody got something to eat? Uh. One day death will have you, but it is not this day, my boy. Heck yeah. I'm reviewing a report on the recognition. When do I have time to write those? This could have gotten complicated fast. I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah. Cutting a deal with the Rekni Queen. Mm. We got burned last yeah, time. Yeah, that's kind of I'm trusting your instincts to come out. Kinda not great. We can count on her support, Admiral. I hope so. But we cut the Reaper supply of new Rachni troops and picked up some additional Krogan support. I call that a victory. I've got to get back to it, Commander. Watch yourself out there. Hack it out. Shepard, you made it out of there. Sounds like I missed a hell of a fight. It was bloody, Rex. We could have used you. Too busy talking rather than fighting. Feeling restless. A war going on, and I'm stuck keeping the peace. I heard you made some kind of deal with the Ragni Queen. If they get out of hand again, it's your ass on the line. Understood. I heard Grunt managed to get out of there with a few scratches. You could say. <laughs> we'll get him patched up. Back in the fight. Good to hear. I should get back to it. Keep me posted, Shepard. Krogan diplomat. Shepard, test verified. Results promising. Can synthesize for universal Krogan immunity. Oh, wait, what? Good. Then you can put your knife away. The cure's ready? No. Still need transmission vector. Cure useless unless given to entire species. You're usually full of ideas, Morton. You altered the genophage before. There must be a way. Of course. Always possibilities. But time limited. Can't create new infection strain from scratch. Groundwater? No. Too slow. Voluntary inoculation risky. Population too scattered for airborne. Unless... Wait, yes! The Shroud. Constant global dispersion of air particles. Built by Salarians to repair atmosphere of Tuchanka. Also used by Turian. Ah! We used it to secretly spread the genophage virus. It ended the Krogan rebellions. I'd be careful who you tell that to. Nah. Sometimes I understand why the Krogan want to shoot everyone in sight. <laughs> Morden, uh-huh. Those were desperate times. Yes, yes, but useful now. Original genophage strain still in storage at Shroud Facility. 
can use it as transmission vector. Then you shroud to blanket Tuchanka with cure. You clever little pie jack. That's our best shot, right there. Then finish your preparations and be ready to go, Morden. Of course. Ready when you need me. We'll be in Med Bay with Eve until then. Hold up, I think I still have conversation Commander, stuff with you guys. But oh my dad. Dad? Dad? You what? Hold on, hold on everything. There's so much happened. everything happens so fast in this game. Shepard. So I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up with uh -huh. Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close. I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. She and I were... more than close. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. <laughs> I can see her. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared demons. <sighs> nope. I don't know how you deal with all the politics. It's a pain in the ass. <sighs> As I recall, you gave me the job. I did. Yeah. Sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, sorry about that. Just remember. The more they complain, the more you know you're accomplishing something. <laughs> what about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver, and now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will. Even if it kills me. Well, you've already died Bruh. once, and that didn't slow you Oh, down. he's so full of jokes. But let's not tempt fate. Keep yourself safe, Sean. You too. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson my Alex. dad. I got to see my son and my dad. Oh, how good. Shepard's getting those familial things. Anyway, holy cow, we already... I thought we had to finish both. I thought we had to finish the thing from the Turians and from the Krogan in order to get the Shroud. Party to chunk? I can't do it. Golly. That's too soon. I'm not doing that yet. Besides, I think we still, like, we can go into the... Oh, I hope I didn't mess that up. Um, you can go in... And... Chat with even Morden periodically. And I hope at this point now, if I go in to talk to him, it hasn't, like, superseded other conversations. Dang it. I thought I had to do both. Like I said, I can't remember everything. I have a sieve for a brain. Um. We really don't have a lot, though. A lot of this is just fetch quests. Benning is a landing one. We can land for that. This is a... Why is it? Why again? DLC, that's a fetch quest, fetch quest, that's a landing one, that's a priority. Don't remember that one, that's a landing one, I think this is a landing one. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, yeah. Actually don't have that much, interesting, so. I guess it's not a bad thing to further the main quest. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, <laughs> I don't like to. But uh, anyway. Let me stop waffling around and call this one here. Figure out. I need to say out loud. I'm going to go talk to Morden and Eve right after this. And then I'll probably do Barlavon. 
We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. So thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Sorry I kept waffling even after I said I wouldn't, but here we go. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And my other sapling tier patron, Adam. Thank you so much for your support. You're both super awesome, and I appreciate it. Um, and an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron who is the super bestest and who I super appreciate and I hope you're enjoying the series so far and then I haven't spoiled too much for you <laughs> because I'm getting you lazy <laughs> but uh thank you all so much for watching I appreciate it and I hope to see you in the next one